Hi, let's understand what is Firebase. Firebase is a great software development kit, SDK. It contains a lot of features to facilitate app development. Features like changing your application behavior without deploying a new version, hosting user-generated content, storing and retrieving data is very fast compared to SQL relational databases because it's a pure JSON. You don't have to worry about authenticating users. Sign up, sign in, sign out, all of that is already in place. You just need to use it. You can see who's using your application. Firebase supports iOS, Android, web application, Unity, and C++. So the most important question, what is the price? Google is very generous. They said, start for free, then pay as you go. That's the answer. You can find the link to the pricing page in the description below. Let's get started. First of all, you have to have Google account and you need to sign in. Then, navigate to console.firebase.google.com. Click on Add Project. Give it a name. I'll call it Books. Scroll down and accept the license agreement. Click Create Project. Continue. We want to use Firebase with Android, so click on Android. Currently, I don't have an Android application. That's not a big deal. Let's create it. Open Android Studio. Create new project. Call it Books. Domain name, it's your website domain name. Click Next. This application for phone and tablets. My target starts from API 19. Click Next. Select Empty Activity. Click Next. I'll call my main activity Book List Activity. Click Finish. Run it. It's working. Copy the application's package name. Let's get back to Firebase console. Paste the application's package name here. Give it a nickname. It's optional. Debug certificate SHA1 is optional, but let's see how to generate it. If you hover over the question mark, you'll get an explanation about how to generate this code. Let's see this page. To get debug certificate key, you need to execute this command according to your operating system. Key tool is the executable file that will help us to get debug key. It is exists in Java Development Kit, JDK. Let's find where we can find our JDK. From Android Studio, File, Project Structure, in SDK Location, copy the path to the JDK Location. Open Run Window, and paste the location here, then hit Enter. Open Bin folder. Here it is. Copy the location to this directory. Open command prompt as an administrator. Type cd space right click to paste the path. Enter. Type key tool space tag export certificate space tag list space tag alias space android debug key space tag key store space the system variable 
user profile backslash dot android backslash debug dot keystore hit enter for the password type android and hit enter you will get the debug key mark it and copy it back to firebase console paste the key click register app download google surfaces.json file copy the file open android studio in project window, change the view from Android to Project. Right click on Application folder and paste. Click OK. Change the view to Android. Let's get back to Firebase console. Click Next. Copy this line and paste it in build.gradle for project level. Open Android Studio. From project window, expand Gradle scripts. Open build.gradle for project level. In dependencies, paste the code here. Back to Firebase console. This time we need to add these two lines in build.gradle for application level. Open build.gradle for application level. In dependencies, paste the code. Back to Firebase console. Copy the last line. Paste the code at the end. At this point, we've told Gradle where to find Firebase core libraries. It is time for him to do its magic by downloading and placing the libraries in our project. So we can start using Firebase. Click on Sync Now and wait for the Gradle to do its job. That's it. Back to Firebase console, click Next. In this step, we need to check the connectivity between our Android application and Firebase server. Just run the application. Connection established. Now we can start using Firebase in our Android application. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to read data from real-time database. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.